city must end the cost of program. This policy, it failed once before. It's an expensive nightmare that allows landlords to force low-income families to move uh, into, uh, to create poorly run shelters. Uh, and it reduces the existing rental stock. It takes it, the existing rental apartments, converts them into shelters. Uh, and it's a disaster from every angle. It's really uh, kind of a stopgap measure by the city that doesn't solve the problem for the people that they are moving in there, and it certainly doesn't help the situation in our neighborhood where we start to lose more and more affordable rental apartments. It's kind of a lose-lose situation as far as I can see. We're losing permanent unit, uh, and it's becoming a transitional unit that may or may not be operated well. I did my research, I foiled the contract with the city. Um, you know, they're getting paid about $115 a day per family. Close to $3,500 a month. And look at look at the bathroom of this uh, of where this lady's living. This is not $3,500 worth. Look at look at her look at her her, her, her sink. Look at her toilet. The the it, this is this is definitely not worth $3,500. So way above market value. We have to sit and wait until they come and do the repairs. And then once they do the repairs, it still starts leaking. So we, we, we're just like prisoners here. They, they need to be painted. We got the doors that need to be fixed. Doorknobs need to be put. A lot of things. These things in here, the sinks. You got people whose houses leaking down to ours. Toilets be getting backed up all the time. They be shutting the water off so the toilet won't flush. The people over here, they don't really care. They do it on their time. It's not on yours. So I, look, I, so I, I can't wait to get out of here. So I'm out of here. I'm out of here for good. They ask for better living, they're telling, okay, there's no more programs, so how can you move on when you're in here and you can't get out? But whatever money P is giving us, we can't, we can't provide food, we can't provide, clo we can't provide clothing, we can't provide shelter for ourselves. He told us that he doesn't want us to get comfortable. That's what the case manager told us. He doesn't want us to get comfortable. But if you don't want us to get comfortable, do something to get us out of here. There needs to be some type of better communication allowing these agencies to just take a building and, 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 and put these you know homeless apartments in them without properly vetting them, without properly checking to see if these buildings are in bad condition. There, there needs to be some type of transparency, definitely, in this process. There needs to be community involvement, community board involvement, and we, you know, <clears throat> we understand that there's a need for shelters. You know, we understand that there's people in our community who need who need a, a, a place to stay, and, and these services, they will benefit from them. But what we would like to see is that these shelters that are in our community are for people that actually live in our community.